in this postseason, we saw Harden. Sorry, he couldn't get it done. He, he was worse than his normal self under pressure again. And Steph has not been. His team has called oh, upon him in these playoffs. And Steph has stepped up. And I'm sorry, that's the difference. The answer is right. Steph Curry. Coach, coach, it's moments like this. Let me explain. <laughs> when it's very, very difficult. Get, get Harden off the air, please, and put me on camera. <laughs> There's moments like this. There you are. There we go. Where it's, it's moments like this where it's very difficult to listen to Max. And here's why. Because Max wants to make up his own rules. The fact of the matter is, Max, as a voter for years, we were always required to turn in our vote at the end of the regular season. You don't get to sit up there and say, no, we're ignoring all of that. That's not what the voters get to do. I do. Maybe you the don't. Vote, the, vo the voters have to vote before the postseason. It's a regular season award. Now, if you were making this argument based on regular season, then I'm all ears. The problem is you want to ignore the regular season because the postseason matters and just ignore the stipulations that all the voters have to capitulate to. It doesn't work that way. From the, from the end of October to mid-April, there's 82 games that go on in a regular season. At the end of that regular season, the NBA is asking for your vote. They're specifically asking for it because they don't want you to include the postseason. So if we go to the Not regular the season is. and we look at Harden and we look at – I'm just telling you what they did for years. I haven't had to do that in the last couple of years, so I don't know what they're doing now. But for years, that's what they did no, when no, I I'm was saying voting. that's not what our question is, but go ahead. What I'm the saying is what I'm saying to you first team more? Yeah, 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 yeah. But what I'm saying is the first team is based on the regular season. Not so according to me. So if it's based me. on the regular season, <laughs> so if it's based on the regular season, then the bottom line is I'm looking at Harden without CP3 for 24 games, without Eric Gordon for a few games, without Clint Capella. I'm looking at the load that he had to carry because everything had to go through him and the Mike D'Antoni system. He doesn't have Steve Kerr as his coach, who we've all conceded is great. He doesn't have Kevin Durant and Klay Thompson and those boys. Everything is going through him. And during the regular season, James Harden was a top two MVP candidate while being the reigning league MVP and carried the franchise on his back after an 11-14 start. To me, it's automatic that he's first team. Am I in the deciding vote? Yeah. I got something to say. Go ahead, coach. Tie, tiebreaker. Get Max, it, coach. you're right here. Stephen A., you're in a box over there. Stephen A., you are 100% correct. And here's the reason. Let's face it. Think about this. For 24 games, that dude averaged 42 points a game and nine assists. They had the second worst record in the Western Conference. The second worst record in the Western Conference. And you know what he did? He took that team and he put them on his shoulders. They ended up fourth. They could have ended up second. If you think about what he's been able to do, his ability to make plays, 32 consecutive 30-point games. He took a whole franchise without Capella at times, without Paul at times, put him on his shoulders, and basically kept them relevant. What he was able to do, and everyone talks about, you know, he doesn't guard, but he does steal the ball. He makes other players better. He makes shots. And he plays within the system that Mike D'Antoni wants him to play. His productivity and his ability to take a team and win with an under-talented, depleted team for that extended period of time. And then on the other hand, Steph Curry missed 13 games. He missed 13 games. So, like, Steph Curry's 13 games, obviously James Harden's ability to produce at the very highest level when that team was the second worst team in the West. And right. the conversation. It, this is a weakness of the NBA's awards because people make it a regular season award. If you went to the, to the kids right now arguing in the schoolyard at PS41, you said who should be uh, all NBA. Everyone knows what that really means. You're talking about who the best is at their position that year. But if you limit it just to the regular season and ignore a two-month-long playoff season – 
That is much more high leverage, much more important games. Just pretend it doesn't exist, or else you go right to a finals MVP, right? In this Houston one series. Houston doesn't get to the playoffs the, we without Jane Harden doing what he's doing. We all That's agree with you. That's not the point. You're now, what you're doing now is saying penalize Steph for having better teammates. It's not Steph's fault or, you know, that he has better teammates than Harden. I do know this about Harden. I know that, and, and it gives me no pleasure to say it, I know when they've needed him most, even recently, he's dribbling all, the ball out of bounds, he's missing a three and complaining to the ref looking for a call. I mean, that's what's happening. But that's not choking. He's made, he's made bad play. The whole idea, the word choke is repulsive because you're talking yeah, about a guy that's playing – it, 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 he's playing 100 either. games. That, that's an insult to his body of work. Oh, no, it's not. Because if you look no, no, at the no. dude's body of work over the course Coach? of his season, yeah, look. Coach, cho- wait, when you say playoffs body of work. Playoffs are a different animal because of how games are prepared and how teams prepare. Coach, They're not letting the other team's body, best player beat you. When you say body of work, that's not exactly how it works when we talk about clutch. Clutch specifically is for the high leverage moments. And, and in Harden's case, consistently, the higher the leverage moment, the worse he plays. Because he's it's playing against different teams that total focus, the especially been... the way they play, mm-hmm. total focus is to take him and disrupt How about Kawhi? Him. How's Kawhi doing Double him. That? Well, Ka- Kawhi's Kawhi. doing it differently. Yeah, no, Wait a second. They, they Kawhi, play a lot of Kawhi, 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 Kawhi say one thing real quick. Score, right? Yeah, well, you know, they play Max, can I say one thing to you? Hold right. on, Coach. Max, let me say one thing to you real quick. Mm-hmm. You know what you really, really should have a problem with? That award ceremony that I brought up, that mm-hmm. to me, I, I mean, I'm just appalled by it, that they would ignore the fans that way. Let me be very, very clear, Max. On that day, they crowned all of these folks, MVP awards and all of this other stuff. We know that the award is supposed to be for the regular season, we don't even know what's included because they don't announce anything until after the finals are over. It's Who knows wh- how they're tallying up the votes? Who knows what they're doing? We don't even know. Now tell me how how can you how can anybody excuse that? No. They should vote right at the end of the season, just like they Why, do. In thank you very basketball. much, Coach. Season's right at the end of the regular end the season. Reg- yeah, why it's end fresh end of the regular season. season. For, not for first team NBA. And then have first team NBA. Work. You got to wait till the end of the playoffs. That's why you have and do all it the playoff. Thing. That's why you have a playoff NBA. I don't have a problem with no, that, Matt.